In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Gantt chart easily in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created a Gantt chart for 12 months starting from Jan to December. And on my left side, I have added all the different uh, project descriptions and starting with brainstorming, stakeholder meetings till the pilot run and the finishing. And when I click, it will start giving all the timelines one by one you can see here and then it will tell what is the current progress and this is you can move according to the requirement and if you want you can add more also and apart from this i made another slide uh, the same one but uh, with a white background so let's see how to do this in powerpoint Add a new slide and change the background to some dark color background. Then go to insert table and select insert table. And I want number of columns to be 13. The 12 for the months and one for the, the tasks and number of rows. I'll make it one only and just say OK. So you can see here you got this particular uh, 13 uh, columns the table and just increase the height and the first column I'm just going to increase the width so you can go here you can go to the layout and you can start increasing the width can you see here or you can just add from here also better to go with this you can see here let me just add further all right now you can see here we have added the table let me just reduce the size a little bit bring it further down here and select all the columns and then you can go to design and i'm going to select this one which is the width select the smallest one pen color i'm going to select somewhat gray color light gray color and border i'm just going to select this all borders can you see here and here shading i'm going to say no fill so you can see here small lines are visible only and there's no background to it now in the first column i need to split this one into multiple rows uh, depending on the number of task or description you have so first select the first column then you can go to uh, layout and there's something called split cells can you see here when i click on the split cells how many number of columns i need and how many number of rows i need for example column will be one only but number of rows for example I need 12 because 12 is my requirement it depends on your requirement maybe six seven five or whatever and just click ok and you can see here this has been splitted into 12 rows only this is the first column other columns are remain the same so here I'm just going to select all and you can just come here and maybe you can come here and say a uh, right aligned as well as in the layout also you can just select the right aligned here and in the center okay so i can just type description one and description two so you can see here one is coming uh, black and one is coming white so again you can just come here and go to the home tab and select one color only you can do that as well as here the header row also you can just untick this and the banded rows also you can just untick that both this one and then add all your description or simply i can just copy and paste also whatever which is best you can just do it so once we fill all these things we need to add the months at the top so for that go to insert text box and i'm just going to say for example jan 
and I'm going to select a light gray color here center align going to change the font to open sans reduce the size according to the width of the can you see the column and then press ctrl D and just add the next months here so this is Jan this is Feb ctrl D I will do it all right and then start changing this one Jan Feb March so change the all the months and add all the descriptions so as you can see here I've added all the description and I have added the months at the top now it's time to start adding the timelines and in the meantime if you don't want this also the lines also again you can just go simply here and design you can just make it no borders also but anyway it depends on your requirement whether you want to keep or you want to uh, remove it so I'm just keeping this now to add the timelines I'm just going to insert shapes select the rectangle whichever if you want uh, a rounded corner you can use it or if you want just a plain rectangle also you can just add the plain rectangle for example description one will start from say Jan till Feb mid Feb for example let me just make it somewhat small zoom it and place it here something like this we can do it shape outline make it no outline and then start selecting the right colors for each now you can see here then I'm again I'm just going to start the description 2 after the first one for that let me just bring it here and this will go till March for example you can see here and just align it properly so likewise you can just add so this one this color can be changed to some other colors again press ctrl D this should start again in the beginning of the March and then this will go on till for example May for example here you can see here and again I'm just going to change the color to some other color use some nice colors and moreover for example if you see the Gantt chart generally you will see one arrow it's coming from the first uh, task to the second task that also is possible for example if I want to do this I can just go to insert shapes and I can use these of the connectors can you see here the connector I can just put it something like this and just change the so it gives more meaning also or if you want this one to start from here like this also you can do it so whatever the requirement you can just now it's time to add all one by one so just add as per your requirement for example this one will happen only after this and it will last for a month and I'm going to change this color to some nice colors you can see here so uh, just fill uh, all depending on your requirement this should happen and this will go all right so just fill according to the requirement so you can see here I have added all the timelines and if required you can add the arrows also to know that when it is starting and when it is finishing and if you want you can add some uh, milestones also if required and then on the top go to insert text box add the title I'm just saying Gantt chart title center align make the white font again open sans bold so you can see here i have added the title and uh, one more important thing if you want you can just add for each alternate row a different color or a, a light color for example right mouse click not sorry this one uh, you can just go to format shape right mouse click and i'm just saying solid fill 
I will just say white can you see here and this one I'm going to make it 98% and then I'm just coming selecting the alternate row press F4 key you can see here very light color it's coming so you can differentiate between a month also and here you can track the progress by adding one more shape for example we are in mid of march so i need to know okay how much work has been completed for that go to insert shape select a rounded corner rectangle and here i will say here current progress or whatever or progress so far or whatever i'm just giving some uh and give some light color and the font color i'm going to use some dark color you can see here i'll bring it somewhat down and insert shapes again add one rectangle draw a rectangle smaller one till here again give the same color shape outline make it no outline and put it in the center of this select these two press ctrl g to group it so you can see here you can use this slider to say that okay this is the work finish or we are here so it's easy way or you can just simply use the left and right arrow key to move this one so it's easy a uh, gantt chart in powerpoint so once you have completed this then you can start adding the animation it's very simple animation i'm just going to add let me just close this go to animations animation pane and select the first timeline i'm just going to say a wipe effect and just say from left you can see here and then using the animation painter double click and i'm just going to click on each timeline so you can see here so i've added all the the animation on on all the timelines now it's up to you whether you want on click or i can just select all of this and just say after previous so when i play it will come one by one automatically you can see here and this slider you can use again a fly in fly in i can just say from maybe left so it comes something like this and if you want this also after previous you can say after previous so you can add this simple animations don't add too much animations in the gantt chart that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye